What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial, pretty much it's all what I upload anymore, but uh, I'm going to be doing like a team PSD thing, because I've been getting asked a lot about this, and I don't know, it's pretty easy, obviously it's just simple stuff, so it's pretty much a little bit of Cinema 4D in Photoshop, so I said Photoshop open already, and I'm just going to open Cinema 4D, I have my one Lightroom I use, if you guys want to purchase this Lightroom, it's going to be in my Selfie. I like a whole Lightroom pack put together, but uh, pretty much just import your logo, so your .ai at least, and then you can just drag it into the middle, and then add a extrude nerve, and then just add that logo so it you know I can make it, and then you're gonna go to the side of it, and you're pretty much just gonna make this about eight to ten, probably ten, and then you're gonna duplicate it. Go to Philly Cap. Actually, just go to Philly. Philly Cap. Doesn't matter. And then you're gonna go to Object, and you're just gonna drag this out to like probably like one. Actually, you know, like almost 200, like 180, 180 to 200 around there. And then your Philly Caps are gonna go down to about three. And then you can just drag this back out and make it so like, it lines up. And then you can come back in here and see how it looks. You guys can add different fillet caps, like say I can put in a little more, about four. So let's leave at four. And then we'll just go back to the, the center of the, the logo. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to your render settings and you're gonna wanna go to output and put it on 800 by 800. And you're just gonna zoom in. So to zoom in make sure you're angled correctly and you're just gonna take let's just say take a white material so I'm just create new you can put a white material on the front one and then you guys can use a black one I'll just use this one and then you can render that out so it's a good it's black and then you're just gonna take both of these highlight them click the little click the little uh, rotating tool or you can click the shortcut of R and just kind of tilt this and then you just make it bigger oops and kind of center it so if you re-render preview it let's just say that we have like a white background push that back there Let's just say that was our background to be just like fill up space. And I'll put a mat on it. That's gonna help. As a, that, out of any mat material I could use, I use the shittiest one, of course. This isn't gonna work, probably. It might. But, um, just shows. Uh, that it's like tilted a little bit and what I'm gonna do is take out that reflection on it so it's just a solid black so if I go to reflection let's put that all the way down so I just have like my, my logo it's tilted to the side obviously because most logos are like the auto this one is because it can give it like a 3d look so first thing we do is go to render settings and we make sure it's done current frame and we can go to save and change this to your desktop. Let's just name it 1S. And then make sure it's on alpha channel and then render it. Alright, and then what you're going to do is just click the little check thing on the black part so that goes away. Go to your render settings and change this to like 1SS or something and re render it. And then you're pretty much good from Cinema 4D. So you guys can just close out of Cinema 4D now. You have your 1S and your 1SS. So you're just gonna open both of those up. So you're gonna type in 1S, bring that in, and 1SS, and bring that one in. And you're just gonna bring it in here, and you're gonna line it up with this logo. So logo just clicks in. 
And then it's going to take it, go to file, new, and make it width 800. Height 800. And you're just going to drag both of these in. And it doesn't matter what size it is, I'm just going to leave it this size. Alright, and then you're just going to take your background and you're going to make it black. And right now I'm just going to add a picture, so we can just go do like... Um, let's just say black and white. Let's see what comes up. That's huge. It's a little too big. That's what she said. Um, this is fine. The loads. One of these loads. It's too small. It's too small. There you go. What an ugly quality. Sorry if you guys can hear my humidifier in my room. I'm just like dreading that noise of the water dripping over and over again. Is this gonna work? Alright, well, it wasn't what I was expecting, but I mean, worst comes to worst, you can always use a zebra. I'm just using this for like, just the background to put something there. You can just put it there. And then you're gonna have you're gonna start naming these. So this is gonna be named clipping mask. This is going to be named back slash don't touch. All right, and I'm just gonna take this and lower the opacity. So you can just add a uh, let's just say you want to add something to you add a uh, layer style to your logo. And then you're just gonna take the back don't touch duplicate it, make it bigger by just like hitting control T and then holding shift and dragging out the sides. Tilt it a bit. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And just make it big so it just blurs. And then lower the opacity. And then you can add a name tag. So you can just type in your name. Um, font next to bold. And then you can go to the little T with a little uh, bend over it, and you can go to bulge and put the bulge down and go to vertical and bring it back. So, and then you can just add another layer style to it. And just make it a little smaller. Also, if you want to center it, you can. I don't think that's actually centered, but it's close enough. So, pretty much have that now and uh, you guys can start adding other stuff um if you want to be more neat you can actually change names but I'm just, I'll duplicate this and show you guys that the clipping mask what it does so obviously you would make your logo or your background sort of like that but it looks kind of ugly because it's a zebra but you have that and I'll just like make folders so you're gonna make one and you'll be like name changing and then you drag this in and then you duplicate your original text thing and I have this layer style it puts a stroke on it I will go right into it and show you guys it has all of these other stuff but you're pretty much gonna go to stroke put it on three inside and then you guys can change how much the opacity is either you can use that or that and you can name this change also. And be like change. And then you're gonna have like blur. Then your back don't touch. Background. Don't delete. And what you guys can do if you want to don't delete it, you can put a lock on it so you can lock that. Lock that. And then you can have logo. And then you can just drag the clipping mask in. Your background, don't touch. And then your blur can stay out there. So now you have that, you can start adding like essential stuff. So you can just make a new layer and grab a brush on a size of, let's just say 145 on um, hardness of zero. Make sure it's white and just hold shift and go on the outsides of this too high and just drag the corners and then put the opacity down 
and also the fill. Actually, put the fill all the way down, the opacity up. Nah, it doesn't work that way. You just mess with the fill. Alright, and then you guys can add, let's just say you want to add a glare. Pretty much just take your pen tool, and you guys can make like a little basic one. Oops. Right click, fill path, go to color, make it white. And then just lower the opacity. Save your glare. Alright. And to show you guys that it changes, you can go to your logo, go to your clipping mask, and you can add anything you want. You can add that. And uh, let's just say you want to add something else. You can add that. So the options are really endless with this. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below, or you can add me on Skype and tell me if you don't want to message me. But um, yeah, this is pretty easy to do. Obviously, most teams need this being done, and I'm usually the guy that has to do it, which kind of sucks. But um, it doesn't really take that long, 11 minutes. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other tutorial suggestions, please let me know. I have a form that you guys have been filling out, and I have not, I've done a couple from there. Some of them are just, like, ridiculous, like, ridiculous. Like, they'll only link, like, someone from, like, L7's, like, 3D banner, and I'll just look at it, and I'll be like, eh. If only. But, um, yeah. Sorry I haven't uploaded it in like four or five days. Just trying. Kinda get it's kinda getting boring a little bit, honestly. But um I'm trying to get through it. So if any intro makers are watching this right now, I need an intro. So if you can add me on Skype, that would be great. I'm willing to pay. But obviously not a tremendous amount of money unless I would just go to someone crazy. So just let me know. If you guys have any pack ideas for my cell five, please let me know on that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for 1,200. I have 1,230 now, but thanks for 1,200. Almost there. I'm, like, one-fourth of the way to 2K, pretty much. So, that's about it. So, make sure you like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.